All right, let's get going. So, uh, power plant is almost up and running. Um, we turned it halfway on yesterday, uh, off stream, I guess. So a bunch of the, a bunch of the uh, generators are on now on the right side of the island here. And from what I can tell, all the fuel is flowing correctly. Our water towers are still full, so we're pumping more than we're consuming at the moment. Everything looks good. And I'm going to finish up turning all these on and cleaning up the old power plant. So, let's see. Uh, I think I'll turn, there's six over there. We'll turn six more of these guys on. Let's just start over here. Oh, you are on, okay. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Here, turn these, get rid of these last six uh, of the old guard, and then unleash all of the turbo fuel. There we go. So now we can unleash everything. We can open up this valve and send the entire flow over to the new plant. make sure yep full you're full good double check you good that's full and our last tower over here should be full as well Okay, so everything seems to be flowing correctly. Uh, many thanks to Jayco for pointing out that the pumps weren't connected yesterday. After I, uh, after I hooked those up and let the thing run for a minute, um, it only took about five minutes before it was completely uh, filled up. And there's the last couple right there. So we should now be consuming pretty much 100% of the turbo fuel coming in. Uh, so this will let run for a while, and then we'll double check again and make sure we're not that all the math worked out right, and that we're not uh, we're, our our turbo fuel levels aren't dropping, um, and that we're not consuming more than we're producing. But at this point, that's actually it. The power plant rebuild is done. So there's the final product. Uh, five days and something like twelve hours of work, and we end up with this new power plant. I am really happy with how this turned out. I think the rings look fantastic. I like the paint job. I like the placement and the use of the land. This is probably one of my favorite builds I've ever done. Um, and in terms of a power plant, 
uh, definitely the most fantastic uh, looking power plant I've ever built. So it's not the biggest, it's only 30 fuel generators consuming one uh, oil well worth of crude being turned into turbine fuel, obviously. But in terms of like, in terms of satisfaction, I am very satisfied. I, I'm really, really happy with this. So with that out of the way, uh, let's check our actual production now. So we're at 5,316 megawatts, and that is steady. No hiccups, no jaggies, no bounces. Everything looks good. Okay, so with that, we can now start cleaning up uh, this grid here where all the power, power uh, used to be. And then we can maybe look into, at some point, uh, relocating this uh, turbo fuel plant um, maybe over onto that chunk of the island over there. Um, I think this is the furthest of the oil wells. There's uh, four in this area, so there's one there, right? Uh, there's another one there, a third one there, and then I think there's a fourth one over on that island. So, yeah. We might rebuild the turbo fuel stuff, like, right around here. Um, I would... I'm not quite sure how it's gonna where where it would end up, but we would move it off of the grid and into some sort of building or power plant or turbo fuel plant here, because uh, we've already got the pipe heading over to the island. So it sort of makes sense to stick it around here. Uh, in the meantime, I am I am going to uh, I'm going to clean this up. We have to leave the pipe because it's transporting all the fluid, but uh, everything else can go. Let's clean up the bay, make it... Uh-oh, oh, what have I done? I've, I've run out of uh, room here. So we've got these extra computers. I'll probably take those home. Uh, what do I have too much of? Yeah, we got a bunch of uh, motors. A bunch of rubber. We don't really need uh, some extra heavy modular frames. Loads of iron rods. Okay, there we go. Certainly don't want boxes of stuff sitting in the ocean here. One, <laughs> one concrete. At some point, I will need to probably run some sort of road over here, maybe? I'm not sure. That's at some point in the future. Uh, but just to get a little bit of infrastructure for navigation with the, with the jet pack, or the power pack, rather. Okay, so we can delete you guys. We can delete these little chunks of extra pipe here, since they're not serving a purpose anymore. And probably the cross junctions too. I guess we can leave the cross junctions until we figure out where we're going to reconnect things later down the later down the line. Okay. 
Now this whole pipe can go. Along with all of these uh, foundations. Yep, we can get rid of that. We were freeing up all this beach. It was covered with an ugly grid. Okay, we definitely need to keep uh, that. And yeah, we need those. We need those power lines. We do not need. Uh, wait a minute. What do we need? We need you to be connected to that. So we're gonna need to go a little bit this way, and then connect you up there, right? If I can get there. Okay. That's our connection to the main grid. So now we can get rid of this. Okay. Get rid of all of this. You guys can go. A lot of delete work today. Okay. So, at some point we're going to redo that this big pipe. Uh, after we move the uh, after we move the turbo fuel plant, but this is looking, I mean, okay over here on this grid. At least it's compact. Uh, I don't like this pipe, but what can I do about it right now, right? I could move the pipe kind of over there and connect it directly so that it's not sticking onto this beach quite so much. Uh, but I don't think I'm going to do that today. For today, I'm satisfied with the. Uh, with the way the power plant turned out. Man, that looks so good from a distance. Really happy with that. Let's just finish up getting rid of this stuff. And then... Alright. So. Cleaned up our power plant. Rebuilt it. Made it blend in with the island. And uh, really stoked about how that turned out. Hmm. Morning, Pandian. Welcome back to the channel. Good to see you again. As you can see, our power plant rebuild is complete. So, next up, uh, I think we're going to go take a look at uh, making our circuit boards. Um, yeah, I'm not, I'm not going to do batteries over there just now. I put enough work into that island for now. We're going to leave it as is. I'm really, really pretty pleased with how it turned out. So there's sort of the final look of the power plant rebuild. From a distance, I think it looks really good. Really clean, nice curves. No, not, no like floating kind of pipe works or anything. And they're all just slowly burning turbo fuel and turning it into electricity. And actually, the uh, the end result, after putting that whole thing together, because I, the grid that I had here was not completely efficient with the power, with the turbo fuel we were producing, uh, we're now up to 5,300 megawatts, which again is well more than we need uh, for now, um, but is an increase over the 4,500 we were sitting at before. Um, actually, now that this has been running for a few minutes, I do want to double check that our consumption is correct, that we're not using more turbo fuel than we're producing. So this should be sending like 128, I think. Uh, I think I need the jetpack here. To cross the water. Oh, they are kind of loud, huh? Everything's on. All 30. 1, 2, 3, 4. Right? There's nobody not producing smoke. And they're all on. So let's check the towers and make sure. There's nobody... Nobody's starting to fall short. Nobody's dripping out bits and pieces. Uh, 400 to 400. 
with all of them on. That's good. That's a good sign. Yep, you're full. Looking good. Full pipes or happy pipes? Oh, hello. You shouldn't be there. You're full. And... You're full. Nice. Okay. So I think that looks good. It's working. Uh, we should have... 100% efficiency with the, the turbo fuel coming out of there into these power plants and generating lots of electricity for us to use, so all good there. Most likely, since the oil well is right there, we probably just shift this whole thing forward and redesign it a little bit to work with the, the landscape, and then just have the uh, the uh, the turbo fuel fuel, fuel uh, uh, flow uh, south along the manifold instead of north, and we'll move that fluid container and then pump it all over there. So probably what I'll do is like. Uh, turn half turn a, a handful of these off after the rebuild so that I can get the pipes back up to full um, but yeah this whole chunk of stuff will get moved over there now one thing I wanted to look at here is how much exactly of the uh, the crystal stuff the uh, the extra it's called the byproduct is being produced here polymer resin okay so you're producing 20 per minute you're producing 20 per minute. 20 per minute, 20 per minute. So these four are working at 100% and are producing 80 polymer resin per minute. And I think I've got another 7.5 over there from something. I have to go check that. Uh, but I know I'm going to need plastic. Um, so 80 are currently going into there. And I want to find out exactly how much plastic I can make. Because I need something like 50 plastic. So 40... Hmm, this is underclocked. These are all underclocked. So I'm making fabric, which I don't really need. One container's worth is enough. And rubber, which I don't really have a need for at the moment. Um, it looks like... Hang on. So a 100 per speed is 20 per minute. At 60 per minute. So 60 gets you 20, and I need 50. Okay. So... If I have... 87.5, that's roughly 30 per minute. I'm going to need some more plastic, I think. Let's get... Let's get some basic setup over here. Let's take a look at what we're going to need to spend. Um, I have notes, but I want to check them. So how many circuit boards do we need over here? So you're the supercomputer manufacturer. You need, you need computers, AI limiters, high-speed connectors, and 28 plastic. No, 52.5 plastic per minute. Okay. You need circuit boards. You need circuit boards. Copper sheets and quick wires. Actually, this is the one we can finish right now. We have copper sheets and quick wire coming in from up north. So I'm pretty sure if we run those lines over here, we can finish this and be producing AI limiters. Uh, but circuit boards, we need 10, 15.62 per minute over here. Yeah, 15.62. Let me check my notes. Uh, I have to alt tab out here and go find them.
Okay. Circuit boards, circuit boards. Yeah, I need 15.625 per minute. So I actually only need one silicon circuit board assembler consuming copper sheets and silica. Huh. Okay, that's really not even a factory. Hmm. Silicon circuit board assembler. Okay. And that produces 15.625 per minute. Let me get that built. It's not even a manufacturer, it's an assembler. That's really cheap. Okay. Uh, let's see, what do I have here? Way too much concrete, obviously. Too much quick wire. We've got a bunch of computers and circuit boards now. Um, actually, let me just, let's see, which one of these is the computers? Let me dump these in here. Because I don't need them right now. This is our overflow anyway. Um, let's see. We don't need 150 motors. Low on those. We don't need 150 of those. Way too many of these because we deleted all those foundations. All right, that frees up a little bit of space. So I had thought I needed a factory for circuit boards, and that's what this was going to be. But I really don't, it seems like. Or I don't need this whole building for it. Why am I not getting power? Um, okay. Let's slap, what was I going to do for these corners? Oh, right, I was just going to build, I was going to build this up to the sky. Okay, let's get some power on this, and maybe this is just a very small building with just an assembler hidden inside it. Maybe we can reuse it for something else, I'm not sure. Let's pop that there. Uh, and we'll worry about coloring later. Um, let's get... So our first floor would be, yeah, our first floor would be here, I think, like that. And I'm trying to get power set up. I'm like trapped in here now. There we go, there's power over here. Okay. So let's just, let's just uh, build a floor here. I think. And with that in place, now let's uh, let's get a a wall outlet somewhere over here. Where it makes sense? Probably down by the ground. You can come down to there. Yeah. All right. So uh, let's grab a wall outlet down here, right on the corner. Oh, it won't build on the it won't build on that. All right, we'll just go like that, and we'll connect you up like there, and then we'll just run you through the wall over here. It's probably fine. We'll run you up to the floor. And then can I see you up here? No. But we can do something like, something like this here. Is that kind of centered-ish? There we go. All right, so that, that gives us a power connection. Um, I think we probably do the same thing over here to get this... Uh, wire out of run out of the uh, stop stop the wire from having to run through the building So if we bring you over and in uh, We can just run you along the inside of the building and then down This also gives us uh, a good uh, hover 
assist. Bring that over like there. And bring this over like this. Uh, where are you in terms of height? You're right in the middle. Okay. Like that. Connect those two. Okay, there we go. And now we don't need this line anymore. Okay, and there's our there's our connection point for the rest of the building. So let's just finish up this floor here. Okay. Um, I don't think we need all of this. If we do, we can always put it back later. Okay. Do some corners real quick. Uh, we'll come over here and do the same. Get some walls in. So we need a we need an assembler here, and we're just gonna we could overclock it or we could build two. I think I think it's easier just to overclock it. I guess I want to use this building for something else now, but I don't know quite what. Probably plastic. But we know we need the circuit boards over there, so let's build our assembler and just have it uh, facing that way with the output. So we can just kind of like, let's see, go like this to start. Now I might need to, I don't think there's, the, the hill goes up there, so I don't think there's room underneath here for pancake. I might need to build up a little bit first. Uh, maybe. I don't have walls over there to build out of. Uh, you're backwards. There we go. So yeah, I probably need to build up at least one floor. Yeah, let's let's go up a floor. Okay. using halves here. Uh, let's grab one. And swap it over to concrete. There we go. I guess most likely I had some overlap solution there. like this, right? So we can have our assembler over here. Uh, let's see, do we want it just one like that and then a little bit of space like that? Okay, so he's gonna produce circuit boards, which are gonna flow down over there, I suppose.
I guess there's no getting away from having uh, some kind of belt that goes down underneath, right? What are you supposed to be? Plastic in. Circuit boards in. Yeah, we need the circuit boards over here. Okay. So 15.625. So realistically, uh, they come down over here and flow down. So, if we want that to look good, we probably want to build it on a ramp that comes down, right? So that it looks right-ish. Um, let's see if we can kind of get that started. Yeah, okay. So for this, do we want... I just learned about the double ramps. So that's not steep enough. Nor is that. That one looks right. And now we don't really need it quite as steep. Or maybe we do. I want it a little lower than that, which means we drop that by a meter and then and then reconnect these uh, one meter lower. All right, can we do that? There we go. And then probably just finish up with a four. And then have it connect up with flats after that. Or maybe like that. So if we put a... Let's see, where would be the best way to do it? Probably here. Replace, replace that wall, right? So we go into walls and grab one of the uh, conveyor walls. Slap that there. And then start... I think down at the bottom. And we'll place... Uh, so we'll place a, what is this, on seven? There we go. We'll place a, one of these. Right there. Another one at the corner. And then at the top of the eights. Uh, as we change the, yeah, we change the direction. And then we go one... Well, from here, that's going the wrong way. Uh, I guess we want to kind of go here-ish to avoid curving out to the side. So we'll slap that like that. Okay. And now we'll go, let's see, from here to here. And then connect these all up. Now, I wish it didn't have this little like flat bump is there a way to get rid of that like that hiccup there to have it just curve straight I don't know how you would do that I don't think there's a good way to do that except maybe to move this down first we could try that. So if we go like... No, no matter what we do, it's going to be... Let's see. If I connect you like that... Yeah, you kind of like... Go through, right? Hmm. I guess there's no good way to get rid of that problem. And come down to like... Come down by one, I think. That sort of minimizes it a bit. 
just recreates it there. Maybe, okay, what I can do actually is I can just get rid of the ramps, which I was going to do anyway. Right, so if I just connect you up from there to there, that should look decent when I get rid of the ramps. Right? So now we delete you guys. Okay. So can I, is there any way to rebuild these? Hey, gotcha. Welcome to the channel. Yeah, I'm working on circuit boards, I think. I'm trying to figure out ways to make this conveyor belt look good. And so far, this is what I've kind of got. It's not my favorite design. Hmm. Let's try this differently. Um... Can we maybe connect directly from that door down to here? Can we get there? We can. Now, how much clipping does that entail? Goes through it just a little bit. Yeah, because of this uh, because of this rock. Maybe. Hmm. So what if we come to like here and then raise that up by just a little bit? Yeah, if we raise it by one, we're good. And then we can connect up to there. How does that look? It's still kind of gross. What can I do here, guys? How do I how do I make this look not terrible? I suppose, realistically, what I want is a hole over here, but you can't build, like, sideways through a foundation block. Because, yeah, what I'd like to have... Maybe it just comes out of here. So we kind of go from here to here, right? Something like this. And then it does the sharp turn down, down there, and then maybe it goes all the way under the thing like that. So we have to have some kind of way. Yeah, I don't like it that high up there, though, is the problem. So maybe I can have it come down and around and then flow down the hill, hillside that way. I'd also like it somehow to be parallel with the road itself, which this is not helping with, because I just drew it in the ground instead of linking it off the, uh, the highway. And now Mr. Bean is here to make things more interesting. Um, so let's go, let's try this again. You're just gonna stop and stand right there where I'm working? Seriously? Get out of here. Okay. Let's come down from the road. Uh, So we sort of want something that's a straight line up there. Uh, conveyor lifts, maybe? Conveyor lifts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, I'm, I, I see what you're saying. I had the same idea. Something with conveyor lifts. Hmm. Okay, so now I need a straight shot up this side. So let's get those uh, eight, those, uh, those double ramps back uh, for now. Double ramp eight meters. There we go. Okay, so we can get to there, I think. And so we just kind of like, now we need to kind of like, 
Okay, here's here's a case where maybe we can use the DC WAN technique to very quickly build up something. So one, two. No, this is. Uh, where do I want this to happen? Over here. That's too sharp. Okay, that looks kind of good. So if we can kind of get it over here, we can just curve around and then head down like that. So how do we... Let's see. So for the first bit, I think we need it to be a little bit higher, actually. Yeah, we need it a little bit higher here. Um, you know what? It'd be really nice if I had some power to hover. Let me grab a line, a temporary line real quick. Where's my connections? Am I not running power under this road? I should have been from somewhere. I guess I'm not. Here we go. You're coming from there. Yeah, you're just not going along anywhere. Okay. Well, let's run a little bit of line. Now we should have a little bit better connection over here. All right, let's send another one of these up and then I think halfway through, if we can. Is there a way to build halfway through that? There's not, okay. So we come to there, maybe. And then just kind of go through and around. Here, maybe we do the sharper one. Yeah. Okay. Maybe this will work. So, uh, if I'm not mistaken, you sound a little different, or am I just mistaken? No, you're not mistaken. I got a new mic. So, before I was using a pair of $20 headphones... Uh, earbuds that had like a, you know, like a mic built into them. Uh, but a while ago, I, I knew if I was going to be streaming and recording, I wanted a better mic. So I ordered one and it was delayed because of uh, the snowstorms in the U.S., but it arrived yesterday. So the new mic should have a much better voice quality and uh, hopefully eliminate a lot of the issues I was having with the headphones. Okay, so yeah, this is probably the best I'm going to be able to do. Uh, let's throw down you to start things off. And we'll have a lift over here. So the logistics. Come over there. Okay. And then start... Yeah, start uh, heading this way. Still doesn't look great. How do I what, how do I build a curve into the belt in such a way that it looks the way I want it to? I 
guess I don't. I sort of thought I could make it, um, I guess it doesn't work the way pipes do, or... I sort of thought if I connected them all up like this, I could get the kind of look that I wanted. And I sort of can. Oh, this won't even, this won't even work. It's too steep. Okay. Well, that's not gonna work. Uh, yeah, the new mic is much better. Uh, today when I was playing Satisfactory, I literally had a gift land on a gift. You really? You did? I had not seen that. Uh, that's pretty funny. I guess we just go like this. That's kind of the best I can do there. And then have it zoom, zoom over here, and then we go down to there. Okay, I guess that's the best I'm going to be able to do. Uh, one thing I do wish you could do is rebuild these so that they... Like, I'd almost like to have this one here. Sort of like that, so it looks like it's doing something. That's kind of right, but not really. You know what I mean? Like, wouldn't it be nice if you could attach something there and then build down from it? Anyway, that's about the best I'm going to be able to do, I think. Like, I'd really like to be able to attach it and build downwards. Oh well, I can't. Do I just leave this floating in midair like this, or do I try to figure out some kind of a thing that would support this? Oh, that's not what I wanted. Can I get this? Maybe this is close to what I want. So if I build that there like that... That's pretty good. It kind of looks like it's it kind of looks like it's supporting it. I guess that'll have to do. And then down here, we need to come across. Uh, let's do this for now. Soup this over. We'll have you come in nice and straight. Then we'll have you, under the road, we'll have you do your juke over here. Uh, that's plastic. Where's the, uh... Yeah, let's go down now. Get to the right. Shouldn't I be able to build on... Side. Oh, that's because it's uh, the wrong thing. Okay. There we go. So we'll go like right along there. There we go. And we'll have you come in like this. 
Uh, too high. Okay. What was that? There we go. And over here under the road. Okay. And then we just connect these up. Do a lift down like this. Okay. So then to make that work, I need to put the things back. And redo this a little bit. Doesn't matter if it's ugly under the road. Okay. So, now we need to actually produce the circuit boards. Uh, let it float for now. I think it's not that important, the conveyor belt. Yeah, I just, I'm trying to make everything look as good as possible, is the is the goal for this, this area. I want everything to look as good as I can make it. So I'm using every trick I can think of, every tip. Now, why is that at an angle? Son of a bee sting. How did I get that so wrong? Should have been straight. Okay. No, where did that go? Where did that go? Where did that go? Just built a random concrete through the wall? That seems wrong. Weird that it could do that. Doesn't seem like it should do that. All right. Honestly, the amount of effort I put into nonsense is so high. <laughs> okay. So we want you to come out straight. Oh, but straight from the building is not necessarily straight from the road. That's why... No, it should be. Yeah, that looks fine. I don't know I don't know what happened before. Why was it at that weird angle? I don't know. Uh, but now... I can just connect you up like that. No, shouldn't you be in? Why are you coming this way? Oh, I did it to the wall instead of the... That's why. Oh, gosh. Okay, one more time. All right, we got to make sure we connect to the uh, merger over here and not the wall window. For some reason, it's in a weird place. Mirror belt is too steep. Huh, okay. So this this merger in here is not directly connected. Maybe I can connect it directly to the wall, and then from there to... Yeah, there we go. Okay, that's how we do it. Okay. All right, now I think we're done. Let's check from up top. Okay, there we go. That was a mystery. Or a challenge and a half, I guess. Hey, connect a belt to a lift. Sounds easy, right? Nope. All right. So we're going to have a floor hole here. Uh, where's my, where's all my power, darn it? Let's just 
extend you a little bit. Send you over here. Like that. Okay, and I wonder actually if we should put something in the middle. Okay, there we go. Now you have, yeah, you're connected. All right, good. So here's our uh, assembler. We are going to be making circuit boards here. And I believe the one I'm making is this one, silicon circuit board, yeah. So we need 15.625 per minute. And in order to get that, uh, we need this uh, running at 1.25. So we need to overclock it uh, and put it up to 125%. There we go, 15.62 per minute. That's exactly what we need. So we're gonna be putting in 35 copper sheets and 35 silica and getting out this many circuit boards per minute. Uh, let's color you circuit board green, I guess, which would probably be the same as grass, sure. And then we'll throw down a lift hole, like so. And we'll connect everything up, like so. Okay, I'm gonna go downstairs and connect you to you. I think for this we just go like that. Uh, no, let's bring it down actually. Let's use the lift part of the lift. And then we'll come over here. There we go, okay, so uh, that takes care of the assembler. We do need to power it. Let's see, I don't really know where I want this. I want it to come down through the machine and into some sort of uh, location where the wire is hidden. Let's see what that looks like. Uh, okay, so the wire is out front. We want to move it back a little bit. When does the fix my stuff end? I thought it would be over by now. So, Pandian, I think it ends at the either late, like middle or late January. I'm pretty sure. Um, how are we going to do this? So we want it inside the body. I think we want it just like there. Let's go take a look. Yeah, that's good. So the line. Can't even really see it. It's going up through. There it is. Yeah, that's, that's, I think, a great way to do it. Pretty much hides the line. Now, if we moved it to the left by one, maybe? I'm not sure if it would be visible out front. It might be. We might need exactly this line, but maybe we can move it by one. Uh, let's put you right next to your brother. Yeah, that would, that would show the line out front. It's too far to the left. Okay. So we'll just leave that like that. Um... Can we connect to it inside that? No, we cannot. Okay, so we'll need to come down to the ceiling like this, I think. Sure, that works. And then over here, you can connect like that. Okay. So now the assembler has power, yes. Yep, powered up, ready to, ready to go. I don't know what I'm gonna use the rest of this space on this building for, um, but we're gonna need 
Lines bringing in uh, copper sheets and silica. So silica, we already have lines in place, right? Yeah, we've got a line somewhere over here for silica that we can bring into the, the, uh, the building. Yeah, here's some of our silica. And we need, I think it's like 35-ish, right? So we can have this split off here and start coming around over to here, maybe. Let's see. Uh, I'd like to be able to hover here. So how would I do this? I guess I could just have like a hole in the building here where items come in. But that seems gross. Oh, I can do it with another um, lift, of course. Uh, so we throw a wall here. All right, there we go. That's gonna be there. And then, and then we'll throw another lift. Down to there. And we'll connect this up. Like so. I wonder... Is there a better way to have that line be nice and straight. I think we can go a little bit further towards the towards the uh, underpass before we make that cut so that it's as straight as I can get, right? So if I come like this, that shouldn't be clipping through anything. If I connect it directly, it's going to clip um, through the mountain, which I don't want. Let's actually do this. Let's bring this over here. And I wonder if I can maybe... Yeah, maybe I'll just build another splitter here. Or, yeah, I'll just put another splitter on. That's the easiest way to do it, I think. Okay. And then it should just be a straight shot. Right over there. There we go. And that's no longer clipping through. Nice straight line. Coming from under the road over to that building intake. Okay. I think that's about as good as it gets in terms of hiding belts. That one's okay, that one's okay. All right, so we've got silica going in. Now the next thing we need is copper sheets. Um, so I think we probably need another copy of this line uh, coming over here and going into another belt coming from the train station with copper on it. Uh, I decided I do not care if my belts clip in some areas anymore. Yeah, I understand that. There's some places where I don't mind it, but when it's... Like, the, the basic idea here here is I want this place, this set of islands, to look as good as possible. So if I have to have a belt, which I do, I don't see a way around it here, then it should at least be a clean belt. Hopefully. Uh, we are going to need another belt for copper sheets. Strife, welcome to the channel. Good to see you. Uh, it's going well. You know that you can craft items mainly the craft wrench with the space key, and if you hold space and alt-tab to another tab, it will still craft without you needing to press space. Gaia, I did know that. Um, and actually, one of the things I've been thinking about is, although the last time we had to do it was for the computers, and I don't see us needing to do manual crafting again for a while, but I was thinking that if I needed to do more manual crafting, I would get the mod that speeds it up, that just makes it instant craft. Because at this point in the game, with 300 hours in, there's no longer a, a like, there's no longer a need to motivate me to automate things, which is why that's there in the early game. Like, you're forced to craft manually in the early game to reinforce the desire to automate things. It's a very good game design choice, but by the point you reach this point in the game, I think tier five should unlock some sort of like super craft bench it's a lot faster um 
Yeah, you can just press space once and it'll auto craft as long as you have uh, materials. And I think they added that in update five because in the original game you had to hold it down and you had to like put a book on your space bar or something. Okay, so we're gonna need to run copper sheets over here from from the train station. Oh, hello. I don't need you guys here. So I think... it's a lot of... extra foundations. I think that the way I will do it is we'll just throw some of these on the inside right next to their bros. Right. So we'll just keep, we'll just follow this backwards. And everywhere we have one, we'll just put one next to it. And this is where the clipping's gonna be like, okay. Okay, so let's say we're doing that. Um, I think we'll go to... I don't know how many copper sheets we're sending over here, but we'll go to a Mark, mark IV just in case we need more of them elsewhere for some reason. But the thing should be flowing this way now, right? I can't tell. I can't see. Yeah, that's flowing in the right direction. All right, so let's, let's build this belt out a little bit. We might run out of uh, might run out of the stuff we need at some point. The uh, what are they called? Encased industrial beams. Okay, and then what we want to try to do is place the place a splitter here. Uh, I think we go. Can we go a little bit further? Where would the next one be? I guess like. That sort of, and then over here we'd have one. Yeah, okay. Draw this a little bit further. It's getting a little tight down here. Now that's interesting. That does not look like it's right, because why is it going down? Oh, I must have built it on this instead of the, the thing. that yep and then we can come over here and send it a little further like that okay so now we want to pop a splitter on this line overlapping others clearance um let's see I'm fine with clipping occurring. Oh, it's not straight, that's why, okay. Let's just connect you directly then to that. And then we should be able to, there we go, okay. So we wanna kinda of try and make this like as close to the other one as we can, I think. We'll try that and see if that works. So we'll clip through on this side. Um, with another one of these. Yeah, so if we came over here like this, that would be basically... Basically correct. A little bit lower, I think, but alright. Let's just throw that up there. Oh, you know what? I screwed the pooch here on this. Okay, we gotta we gotta redo this part too. Okay, uh, let's put a two-hole wall here. Uh, I was just holding mouse button down. Did not know spacebar or the 
just went by itself. Okay. Uh, it was in a recent update. Okay. And got you unlocked Nobilis. Great. Good job. All right. Um, so, I want these to be kind of... Which way is this going? Into the factory. Yes. Okay. Let's get both of these lifts lined up. All right, that looks good. And then we'll do the first one goes to there. And the second one goes to there. Now, how does that look? That looks fine. Okay, that looks good. Almost perfect. So, now we need to connect up the copper sheet line. And that is connected to this, right? Yes, it's connected to that. All right, so copper sheets. We have to take this back to the train station now. Um, okay. Let's see how far we can go. Uh, it's getting a little crowded down here. Okay, this is also going to do some serious clipping. But that's fine. So you're going to come through and connect up like there, I guess. And then keep going. How far can we get you? Now I need to check where the connection is. It's going to be over here somewhere. Okay. Uh, did we did we go all the way? How did I do this? What did I just do? I think I might have connected the wrong thing. Yeah, it's a little little shady under here. Okay, so you're going. You're on the left side of this for now, and then. Where do you? Oh my god. <laughs> Where do you end? You're over here. Okay, so yeah, you're over there. These two are not... I don't know what these two are. Those are limestone and quartz. Okay. So we gotta connect you over somehow. Let's keep going with you. So this is copper sheets. Let's see where they're coming from and what we can do over here. I'm pretty sure it's over here. No, that's copper ingots. Copper sheets are right here. Okay. So um, I think what we'll probably do. Yeah. Okay. We are going to build on top of this. Uh, just like so. Hmm, how do I, how would I get you to be, oh, I see. It's done with these. So is there any way, if I build another one of these, to get it to go up? No. Oh, I could do it with a wall. I can do it with a wall. Okay, so if I if I stick a wall on here, I should be able to get what I want. Okay. So then I can grab this, right? Come stick it up here. One above. Oh, come on. Let me hover. Come on. Stop. Stop being a jerk. Oops. Now I'm flipping through. Okay. Uh, where's some power? Real quick. Oh, there's no power. Uh, 
I just sent my truck bye bye with a full load of Nobelisk. It literally broke my game. <laughs> what do you mean you? You don't mean like you you packed Nobelisks into its um into its into its inventory slots. You like blew it up or something? I think that's what I'm looking for. Yeah, and then I come over here. I think that. Okay. Okay, there we go. That looks good. So the copper sheets are going to travel that way on top of that belt. And then I think they're probably going to clip through the clip through again and come connect up over here. Yeah, that's the way to do it. Okay, and then we can just use a lift. Okay, looks good, looks good. We're getting there. need to pull the copper out and I think we do need a wall back here because we need to get, need to go we can't clip I don't want to clip through like this so let's have you pop up a little bit stick you there and will that work or is that not no that's still clipping we need to go up by one right at the top there like that okay so you can now come up and over and then we can connect you to copper sheets from over there I think we'll have you come back down so where are you in terms of so you're down there and something like one, two, three, and I don't know. I think it's, we can try it there. Does that look right? Yeah, that looks, that actually looks right. I think I guessed that right on the first try. Yeah, nice. Okay. And which one of these is the output? Uh, I think it's this one, right? Yeah, okay. Should be a bunch of copper sheets here, looks good. I guess the way to do this is to bring it here maybe uh, yeah let's get you to right so that would be on the line one two like that should be the clean curve here we go and let the copper sheets begin to flow Uh, you threw it onto the truck, so you're on Santa's naughty list. Okay, so you, like, you threw a, a, a whole, like, couple hundred, or maybe a couple thousand Nobelisks onto your truck and blew it up. I, uh, that, doesn't it, like, take forever to act? Because it blows them up one at a time, right? It doesn't, it doesn't do them, uh, concurrently. It does them one at a time. 
Wait, how can that be empty already? Shouldn't there be an entire thing worth of copper sheets in here? Oh, it got interrupted by a delivery. That's what happened. There we go. Okay. That explains it. Okay, so we've got silica and copper sheets coming in to the factory over here. It should be, at least. Um, not much I can do about that hump. Let's double check. Yeah, looks like... Looks like we are getting our ingredients. Okay, very nice, very nice. So now we just need to hook them up, and then I don't know what the rest of this space is going to be used for. I built this... When I first built this, I was like, all right, we'll have the circuit board factory up there. And then I realized, like, I only need this one machine. I don't need an entire factory. So we'll use this space for something else. I just don't quite know what yet. Uh, all right, so all we need to do now, though, is hook these up, and then we'll start producing tons of circuit boards. I'll never have to craft them again, which is very pleasant. Uh, I think we use Mark IIs here, right? Okay. Should be good. And we just run these up to the ceiling and then over there. Yeah. Uh, so... I think we're almost done with the circuit board factory already. Uh, I think we can just come directly over here and let's see. Let's run this over. So we need it like, I guess we'll go do it like that for the first one, and then come over here. I guess we gotta just take the corner here. It's underneath the, the ceiling, or it's underneath the floor. I don't need it to be perfect. He said for the first time ever. Okay, that's it. That should be all we need. Silica and copper sheets flowing in from the factory and the train station. Goes up there. He's producing some circuit boards. Yep. And we should see the first one travel down and towards the factory over there in just a moment. So it's 15 and change per minute. Let's see. Uh, Bob Schwan, welcome to the channel. Thanks for the tip. I, I know that I knew that, but I forget it a lot. Or I don't I get confused when I'm looking at it. But yeah, the, the little like mountain coming out is is outputs and the three lines are inputs. But that's a good tip for people to remember when they're working with mergers and uh, splitters. So there's our first five circuit boards. And there's the next five. Oh my gosh, that's so that's such a relief. I'm never going to have to craft circuit boards again. Now, one thing I should think about is maybe making an overflow container up here in case I do need a handful of them for something. 
Because I don't think we have one over here. No. Okay, but the circuit boards are going into the supercomputer factory. And we'll double check that that distribution is working correctly as well. Okay. Uh-oh. Okay, where are where is the circuit board in? I think it's over there. Here we go, here we go. All right. Yep. Circuit boards are coming along. Computer assemblers getting circuit boards. Very nice. And didn't I split this for some reason? Somebody else needed circuit boards, didn't they? Yeah, you needed circuit boards as well. Okay. So the high-speed connector manufacturer is getting circuit boards too. So all of our earlier work is still holding up. So... Oh, the, the copper sheets need to come over here as well. And the quick wire. Okay. Yeah, you're getting loaded up to make computers. And you're getting loaded up to make high-speed connectors. You're, you're almost ready to go. You know what? We're really quick. Once we send the quick wire over here, we have to get that from the train. Then this is done. And I think this is done. We'll send the copper sheets as well. But once we send those in, the only thing left we actually need to build is oscillators. So most likely, I will come and use this place to build oscillators as well. So we can have... We can have... Um, crystals, quartz crystals join up from somewhere out back here, maybe. I think there's a line of quartz crystals. Yeah, there's one going into the silica factory. So we pull a few more lines over here and build crystal a crystal oscillator factory here to go with the circuit boards. Pump it in there. And then I think all the inputs are done and we start producing supercomputers, which is... Mind-boggling. I've been working on this project for like a month and a half. Before I even started streaming again, I was building up this park. Um, so the last things to do after that would be to get rid of all this grid crap and rebuild it all. Maybe work on the train stations a little bit to make them look better. And uh, probably build a few more roads around the island... But a lot of it's going to be left open. Open. We're going to have a lot of empty space, actually, on the island when we're done. So we could consider using that space for something else. I'm not sure what. But the fact that I'm finally producing these is very, very exciting to me. Uh, let's build an overflow container for circuit boards here. Let's throw down an industrial storage container that can hold some extras. Uh, we'll plop it right next to it, just like that. And then we'll come back here and plop in another hole. Uh, compare with four holes, just like that. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, and... Yeah, that looks good. Okay. And then we are going to need um, an AI limiter, which we don't have right now, but that's easy enough to craft. And we're going to need that for the... Uh, we're going to need that for the... Say it with me. Uh, smart splitter. Gosh, couldn't find the word, smart splitter. Uh, we need a craft bench and an AI limiter, right? Let's make one of those. Okay. Um, <laughs> so those are gone. Okay. Uh, we need a smart splitter. Like that. And we can pop you back in place here. Actually, we only need... This is super slow. Oh, I've made it too far to the... To the one side. Uh, 
And there we go. That looks right. Okay. Now it's... Nope, now it's too far forward. Okay. I'm, seriously? Seriously, you guys? Seriously? Uh, splitter placement? Doesn't matter how many hours you have in the game, it never gets... You, you never are able to 3D correctly. Uh, let's see... Strife asks, are you overproducing the things needed for the supercomputers for use in other things? No, I am not. Gaia says, what does the overflow do? Um, so the way the smart splitter works is uh, the normal flow of items is going to go through like this. So if we go and configure this um, and we say left output... We can choose any of these items that we want to go through, or we can say um, any. And what that means is anything that comes in will go through there, right? Um, with the right output, we're going to set it to overflow. And that means if the line is backed up, in other words, if nothing can pass through because this is completely full of circuit boards all the way down to the other end then the overflow can come out of this other exit. And so then we just have to, uh, that lets us say, if anybody's actually using the circuit boards, let them use it. If nobody's using the circuit boards, send them to the overflow line. And all that does, is it means that like, when you're done make, when you're, not, when you're not using this, you can have the overflow go to some other purpose, like some, some lower priority purpose. So for me, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to full, fill up this thing with circuit boards. So by the time I'm done, I'll have, you know, stacks and stacks of circuit boards in here. Um, once, that, once that line fills up and is no longer being used, then the overflow goes in there. So that's, that's the explanation. Um, okay, so with that done, really, uh, the only thing left to do is some lines. We need to get... We need to... We are going to need... That's right. I am going to need to produce more plastic. That's the last piece. I forgot about that. Um, we are not going to have enough plastic to satisfy 52.5 per minute. Um, so right now I'm producing something like... I could produce something like 20 from uh, from the crystals. What is it? It's... Uh, uh, oh, gosh. What are these things called? Polymer resin, yeah, from the polymer resin. I've got some polymer resin floating around, and I can produce like 20 or 30 plastic. We are going to need to produce some more plastic uh, for the manufacturer here. We're going to need 52.5 per minute. Uh, but since what I have to do now is run copper sheets and... What else is it? I have to run copper sheets, quick wire. I have to run copper sheets and quick wire over here. So quick wire comes from the train, and we've already got the copper sheet line set up, but I'm going to have to pull off of... Uh, the one that's going in there and bring it over here and bring it in. And then I'm going to have to do the same thing for quick wire. Then we produce poly then we produce oscillators and plastic, feed them in, and this whole thing is done when we're producing supercomputers. But I think running lines isn't the most entertaining uh, stuff to stream. Um, building up the, the power plant was fun because it's something I think you guys probably have not seen somebody do before um, in terms of the... Uh, the ring generators that I set up and the finished product. Actually, since you guys are here, let me show you the finished product because it, it came out so nice. I'm really happy with it. So I got rid of the big grid of, of fuel generators and uh, turned everything on. And so here's the end result. This is my new power plant, uh, power plant island. I think I will, let's see, let's uh, go to organization and grab one of these. Where's the ladder? There we go. I kind of want to go higher than this. Um, so, let's do that. Okay. So yeah, there's the finished uh, power plant. You can see we've got the underwater pipe running around the back with the power fuel. Um, it loads into the four water, uh, the four fuel towers, which feed into these rings of power plants. And uh, we can actually get in there. 
show it off a little bit. Is there a way to hide your hands when you're hovering? Probably not, right? So we've got the ring power plants. We clean up all the catwalks, and yeah, everything's flowing in nicely. We've got the green and the beach colors. We preserved all of the uh, foliage on the island. We did have to um, get rid of one, I think, limestone rock that was in the way. And obviously, you can't do anything about the crash site over there. Uh, but there's the finished product. I'm really, really happy with how the power plant turned out. And later, we're going to move turbo fuel generation over here so that this pipe isn't, like, running in the middle of nowhere for no reason. Um, but I'm going to do that rebuild on another day. And then we have to rebuild all of this junk as well. This is the uh, heavy modular frame factory um, and the power plant, the power batteries. Um, but eventually, all this will, these grids will be gone. And we'll just have, like, we're going to build more roads. And I don't know what we're going to do with all the rest of the space. Because when you build, like, well-thought-out factories instead of grids, they don't take up anywhere near as much space. Um, but, yeah. I think, that's, uh, I think that's a pretty good place to stop for today. So we turned on the factory and uh, built up our, our circuit board production. Um, and off-stream, I'll probably do some belting to get to get things moving in, in the direction of there. And when I come back tomorrow, I think we'll build, uh, we'll be working on, uh, what would we be working on? Plastic and crystal oscillators. Probably at that big fact, probably at that factory I've just started today, we'll reuse that space because it's a, everything, it's kind of centrally located and a lot of stuff needs to come in and out of there. And we can build it up if we need more, um, more square footage. But yeah, that's going to be it for today. So, uh, Strife, Bob Schwan, uh, Gotcha, Pandian, everybody else who's in here. I think, who else was in here? I don't know. Anyway, thanks for stopping by, guys. Uh, it's going to be a little bit of a short stream today, but I want to get back. Now that I've got my new mic, I'm really excited to get back into uh, Midnight Suns and work on that. So, yeah. Take it easy. We'll see you in the next stream. Have a great day, everybody.